We've uncovered something very frightening, especially for our viewers with young children. Right now, there are people convicted of serious sex crimes living right next to places full of children. It's because in North Carolina, it's legal for sex offenders to live near summer camps and youth programs. There's now a new push to change that. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins is live tonight with the story. Savannah. Fred Sarah, under current North Carolina law, sex offenders cannot legally live within a thousand feet of a school, which is about the distance from me to my photographer who's flashing his lights on the truck back there. However, we found in a surprising loophole, the law says absolutely nothing about youth programs and kids camps. Thousands of Carolina kids will head off to summer camps or programs once school lets out. But do you know who's living next door? Right now in North Carolina, sex offenders can legally live right next to youth camps. House Bill 374 would change that. Our goal here is to make sure that when kids do leave the house and when they do go to a summer camp, that they are offered all the protections that we can give them. Representative Brian Turner is one of the sponsors of the bill. He says it was brought to their attention by Adam Boyd, vice president of the North Carolina Youth Camp Association. There's currently an offender convicted of prostituting minors living about 0.3 miles from a girls camp Boyd directs in Buncombe County. In a statement, Boyd told me North Carolina has the highest concentration of camps in the country, where the Silicon Valley of youth camping. We also want to be on the forefront of youth safety. There are currently 905 registered sex offenders in Mecklenburg County. We found several living within a half mile of kids' summer programs. It's a growing area, so there are going to be people with criminal histories. UNC Charlotte psychology professor Richard McNulty specializes in sexual offenses. He says despite a seemingly large number of offenders scattered across our area and near kids' camps, parents shouldn't worry too much because most aren't violent offenders. A small percentage of them is probably risk to the community. The majority are probably not. Representative Turner says this bill wouldn't apply as broadly to nonviolent offenders. It primarily targets sexual predators whose uh, victims were under the age of 18, which would be sort of the camp going age. This bill passed the North Carolina House and moved into the Senate today. Not sure if it's going to pass this session. The sponsors told me they certainly hope it does, but definitely something to keep in mind as you're enrolling your kids in programs this summer. Reporting live, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte.